Jesus, 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 I'm so glad that you're here. I'm so glad that you've joined. I'm so glad that you're with us. I'm so glad to see your smiling faces. I'm so glad to see your praying mouths. Just blah, 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 blah. somebody all pray in the spirit so fast and furious. Oh, Jesus, God is with you. He'll never leave you or forsake you even to the end of the age. Oh, Lord, we lift you up. We exalt you over this prayer movement. We say no weapon formed against us shall prosper, but every tongue that rises up against us shall be condemned. We sever every lying tongue in the name of Jesus, and we decree and declare we're going higher. We're going deeper. Deeper. We're going further. We're going to run to the battle line with a face like Flint, with a face like the Gadites. We will not lose. We will not back down. We will tear down every stronghold. We will throw down the idols in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, today that you are the supreme ruler of the universe. And by your superior blood, we wage war and we succeed. We will find success in every battle. We will not lose because you never lose. And when we fight from that position, in Christ seated far above, seated far above, seated far above, we cannot lose. We thank you, Lord, today that we are winners. We are in it to win it. And you have never lost a battle, so we will never lose a battle. We will stand and withstand. We will push. We will fight. We will press. We will do what you've called us to do and strengthen us, empower us, God, in the name of Jesus. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Well, welcome to the family meeting. I'm in a particular mood today. I've been dealing with some harassing demons. And if they've been harassing you, guess what? They've just fled. I said, you won't find them anymore. I said, they've run far away because they're scared of the anointing. They're afraid of the blood. They bow to the name of Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God is good. Jesus. Amen. 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 Guys, I want to remind you how special you are. You are unique. You are anointed. You are appointed. I love you guys. Don't give up. Don't back down. If you don't quit, you'll win. I know this is a, a month of warfare. I know people are dropping left and right. People are quitting their jobs, leaving their churches, but you are standing, you are able, and you're going forth. I'm telling you, the Lord is going to reward you for your steadfastness, for your faithfulness. There are eternal rewards for the intercessors. It is true, it is true, it is true. All the hours you spent in your prayer closet, weeping, sweat, blood, tears, you are going to find rewards, not just in heavenly places, but in this realm. He is with you that is reward enough but he's going to do so much more for you some of you he's going to reconcile your families some of you you're going to find job promotions you're going to find financial increase you're going to find more peace more joy more love more anointing he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him and there is none other like him and he is not a man that he should lie or the son of man that he should repent if he said he's going to do it he's going to do it come on won't he do it won't he do it won't he do it won't he do it he shall, he will, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God is good. Oh, Jesus. I'm trying to hand it over to you guys, but I feel the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I feel the anointing to pray without ceasing. I feel the anointing to go into a different place, another place. I said, we're ascending as a movement. We're ascending as a people. We're ascending as prayer warriors. We're ascending as prophetic intercessors. We're ascending as we wait on the Lord. We're ascending as we push back darkness. We're ascending. Oh, the resistance might be strong, but it's making us stronger. The resistance won't kill us it'll equip us we will go further deeper the next battle we fight we'll win it quicker because of the battle we're in now because of the sludge we're pressing through now because of the witchcraft we're fighting now the next battle will be stronger we are strong in the lord and the power of his might we are able to stand and withstand in the evil day we are equipped we are armored up we are ready we are in it to win it we will go forth and we will conquer every mountain we speak to the mountains right now in the name of jesus and we say be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. O oh, great mountain, who can stand against the Lord? We speak grace, grace, grace to the mountain. Every financial mountain of debt, we speak grace to it. Every mountain of sickness, we speak grace to it. Every mountain of relational woes, we speak grace to it. Every mountain of strife trying to kill our anointing, we speak grace to it. We speak grace to it. We speak grace to the mountain in Jesus' name. We say, move, get out of our way. You 
you have no right and you have no authority. I plead the superior blood of Jesus over all of us from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet. We declare that we are overcomers, super conquerors, that no foe is able to stand against us all the days of our lives. When the enemy comes at us one way, he'll flee seven ways. Oh, Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for every double crossing demon. It's got to bow. Every spirit of betrayal, it's got to bow. It's got to go. It's got to run. It's got to flee. We are in a Holy Ghost force field. We're hiding under the shadow of your wings. Oh, Jesus, we are safe. And you surround us with favor like a shield. You are vindicating us. You are bringing us justice. You are making the crooked places straight. You are making the wrong things right. You are doing it because you love us and because we love you and we're called according to your purposes. You're working it all out together for our good. You're taking what the enemy meant for harm and you're turning it for good because you are a good God. So we will stand in hope. We will stand in faith. We will stand with a trust that cannot be broken, that cannot be shaken. We live in a kingdom that cannot be shaken. We cannot be shaken because our kingdom cannot be shaken. Our God cannot be shaken. So we will not be shaken. We will shake up the works of darkness, the kingdom of darkness, the plans and purposes of dark, wicked forces. We will shake them up and we will break them down. We will tear them asunder in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in our midst, how you have come to our rescue time and time again, how you prospered us even when the enemy tried to tear us down. You have lifted us up. You have promoted us. You have trusted us with more and more anointing. So we release it now in the realm of intercession. We will stand on our wall. We will stand in the gap. We will stand. 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 We will pray. We will stand as watchmen on the wall. We will look out into the spirit and see what you're doing and agree with your purposes. How can two walk together unless they are agreed? We will agree with your leadership, but we will disavow and disallow every demon power from entering our city, entering our homes, entering our workplace. We say no. We put our foot down because when we put our foot down, God will put his foot down. So we put our foot down. We say no, Moss devil. No longer will you bait us with offense. No longer will you bait us with weariness. No longer will you bait us with whatever the enemy wants to do. No, 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 no. We say no to the temptations. We say no to the to the to the trauma. We say no to the drama. We say no to the voices of the wicked one spewing lies at our souls, vain imaginations. We cast them down in the name of Jesus, and we lift up the name of Jesus, the name at which every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that you are Lord. We confess that you are our Lord. You're not just our Savior. You are our Lord. So we lay ourselves down. We lay it all down. We lay it all down. We lay down our lives for the sake of prayer and intercession. It's not just about our needs. It's about the needs of the lost. They need salvation. It's about the needs of those who don't know your name. They need to know you the way that we know you. It's about the nation's oppressive governments. They need to be liberated. It's about the persecuted church. They need to be they need to be lifted up and protected. Oh Lord, let your word run swiftly in the nations. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And the Lord would say to you today, because of your faithfulness, because you would not fear when the enemy lobbed his best shot at you, because you would not back down, because you set your face toward my face, because you chose my heart, my way, and my purpose. The Lord says, I am bringing you forth with a new anointing. The wind of my spirit will be at your back, says the Lord, and you will begin to notice the authority on your life. It has grown. It has increased because you have died to self a little more. You have decreased so that I might increase in you and through you a little more. You have gone forward little by little, inch by inch, but I am about to cause you to go miles and miles ahead. I'm about to launch you forward, to propel you forward into a place that you have not known, but a place that you've prayed for, a place that you've interceded about, a place that you've seen in the spirit, but you've not walked on in the natural. Because of your faithfulness, says the Lord, I will do this for you because I can trust you, because you have been tested just like I tested Abraham, says the Lord. I have tested you and you have come out like gold. I have tried you and you have come out with a new anointing. I have pressed you. I have crushed you and you are overflowing with intercessory prayer anointings that will break yokes 
You won't even have to go and lay hands on the person, says the Lord. Just the prayer alone will break the yoke because you are in me and I am in you and I have counted you faithful and you will see and you will know that I am with you as you pray. No longer will you feel isolated. No longer will you feel alone because I am giving you a revelation right now of my very present help in your time of need. I am giving you a revelation right now. I am pouring it out in your spirit. I am renewing your mind with it right now that I am in your midst when you pray. You are never praying alone. You are always praying with me. You are always praying with me and I'm always praying with you. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we say yes. Make us faithful. We want to be found faithful when you return to the earth. We want to be found faithful, God, in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah, my Lord. The enemy's trying to put a headache on me and I said, let me just pray. Let me just push back some darkness. Let me just poke the devil in the eye. Let me just say, no, 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 no. Let me just put my foot down. Listen, some of you got to get some apostolic grit. When you start to get beat down, you got to get back up and beat the devil down. Amen. You've got to stop wondering and worrying what other people think about how you pray. You have a peculiar prayer anointing. Who cares if they don't like how you pray? You just pray on. You just keep pressing. You don't have to worry about them. You know what holds you back from your success in life? Bigger than most other things. It's not the color of your skin. It's not how much education you have. It's not how much money you have. It's that you care too much about what other people think. I don't care if you don't like how I pray. I'm not here for you. I'm here for Jesus. Amen. I'm here to please him. Hallelujah. I'm here to, to, to honor his word and to make his name known in the earth. I am here to stand in the gap and pray for souls. I don't care who doesn't like it. My God likes it. And my God is his pleasure. I feel his pleasure right now over you I feel the pleasure of the Lord over you I feel his pleasure over you I thank you Lord in your presence is fullness of joy at your right hand forevermore in Jesus name Jesus 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. I want to open this up. I want to remind you guys how important you are to this movement. We're coming into a year of multiplication. I'm telling you, the Lord spoke that to me two years ago, and I was two years ahead of him. We are coming into a year of multiplication. We are coming into a year of increase. I don't care what the world says. Prayer changes things. I don't care what the, oh, I'm not going to name names. I don't care what nobody says. I only care what God says. I don't care. It doesn't make no difference to me. I know that God is increasing prayer ministries that have a heart for him. And let me just say this. I don't mean to be rude, but not every prayer ministry is praying the will of God. Some of them have sold out to the wrong God. They've sold out to mammon. They've sold out to politicians. They've so come on now. They've sold out to something other than the Lord Jesus Christ. Not every prayer movement is pure. Not every prayer movement is righteous. Just because they're praying don't mean God's hearing them. Amen. The Lord told me some years ago that if, the, if there was not so much unforgiveness in the body of Christ, we'd already see a great awakening. But God doesn't need the whole body. He just needs a remnant. He just needs a few we got enough we got several hundred prayer warriors in this prayer movement we've got enough right here to turn the world upside down amen they're gonna know that there were some intercessors in the earth when we get to heaven I could just see the Lord saying oh well done my awakening prayer hub leaders you stood when you wanted to quit you pressed when you wanted to withdraw when the enemy was coming at you with everything you had you decided to stand you decided to fight you decided to reach out and get some reinforcements and the Lord is saying today the reinforcements are coming in the name of Jesus. I say thank you, Lord, that the reinforcements are coming. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name, Jesus. In 2007, the Holy Spirit woke me up in the middle of the night and told me he would bring a third great awakening to the nation. I believe we're going to see the greatest great awakening in the history of the world, and it will spill over into the nations of the earth for the glory of God. I believe we'll see a movement greater than all previous moves of God put together, and I know it's predicated on prayer. 
The Awakening Prayer Hub's mission in any city is to draw a diverse group of intercessors who have one thing in common, to contend for the Lord's will in its city, state, and nation. Bishop Bill Hammond, Lou Engel, Cindy Jacobs, Mike Bickle, James Gall, Alveda King, and many others are standing with us. Will you start a hub or find a hub in your city at awakeningprayerhubs.com?